I, I guess my journey just with faith in general kind of began when I was about eight years old. <clears throat> I was going to, my family attended this church for the first time. It was way out in the middle of nowhere, this small, like, classic uh, brick country church, you know, and it was actually a country singer, which was hilarious because at the time I, you know, wasn't into that at all. And uh, my mom wanted to go, and so, you know, we kind of packed up the car and went. And, I remember just something he said, he was talking in the middle of his set, and something that he said just resonated with me big time on a heart level, and I, you know, I was eight years old, so you, at the time, you're, you don't really know what that is, um, so to speak, uh, but you know, I, I, was, I just felt such a, a huge touch on my heart from God, and there's, there's no other way I could put it, and I, so I remember kind of responding to like, an altar call, basically, at the time, and kind of, I think that was, the beginning of my journey regarding my faith and, and just the journey that that has become, it's been incredible. But I, and then I think it, it just, the best way I can describe it, you know, I think I really connected with, with who God is and it opened my eyes to that and it, it's become my lifestyle, my faith now and not just a, a thing, you know, or a, or a name tag. And it was the fact that he's always there for me, you know, regardless of how many millions of times, sometimes a, a week, you know, uh, that I fall down or mess up. And um, regardless of where I came from or what my background was or is, and uh, that he would die even if it was just for me. You know? And that, I don't know, that just kind of blew my mind. And um, so from there forward, I, I actually made my first record when I was 13 years old. Um, it, was, it was a total hip hop record and uh, it was a tape actually. <laughs> that dates me. And uh, anyways, yeah, that was kind of my, my beginning of, of my you know, journey as an artist, you know, with music and kind of went from there. I made another record when I was 16 uh, called Oddball and uh, I was half hip hop, half rock. And then started Thousand Foot Crutch the next year when I was 17 and kind of just have never looked back, you know. That was a calling that I really felt from a young age and it was music just always spoke to me. So I wanted to share that with you guys because hopefully that encourages you, you know, in your life and, and your, whether it's your occupation or your passion or, or both and whatever your journey is, just that, you know, those, those moments that are sometimes the scariest <clears throat> where you're just kind of freaked out and you feel, you know, like, man, this, there's no way this is going to happen if God doesn't show up or it just feels impossible regardless of, of your faith. Uh, you know, those are the, some of the most exciting times in our life that I, I want to encourage you guys if you're in that moment or if you can relate to that, that, you know, that's, that's the time for you to have that faith to take that step, you know, and not be afraid to, to be the first one sometimes. My name is Trevor McNeven, and I've been ransomed.